Imagine a world where ships no longer pollute our oceans, where cargo and passengers travel across the seas with zero emissions. Welcome to the exciting future of electric ships. Today we're diving into how these vessels work, the technology behind them, and why they could change the way we think about marine transport forever. Electric ships are exactly what they sound like. Ships powered by electricity instead of traditional fuels like diesel or gas. Instead of noisy, polluting engines, they use electric motors to propel them forward. These motors are incredibly efficient and cleaner, helping reduce the carbon footprint of global shipping. So how do these ships work? Well, electric ships use large battery packs, similar to the ones in electric cars. These batteries store electricity and power the ship's motors. When the ship is docked, it can recharge at special charging stations. Some ships even use hydrogen fuel cells, where hydrogen is combined with oxygen to create electricity, making these ships not just battery powered, but also incredibly eco-friendly. The electric motor powers the propellers and in some cases ships also use hybrid systems. This means they combine electric power with traditional engines, giving them the flexibility for long journeys and heavy loads. Now, let's look at some real-world examples. The Ampere ferry in Norway is a perfect example. This fully electric ferry travels across a short 5-mile route, carrying vehicles and passengers, no emissions, no noise, just smooth, clean sailing. Then there's the Energy Observer, a hydrogen-powered vessel that combines fuel cells, solar panels, and wind turbines to create a truly sustainable ship. These examples show just how far we've come in making marine transport more sustainable. So why should we care about electric ships? For starters, they reduce harmful emissions that pollute our oceans and air. They also cut down on fuel costs as electricity is cheaper than traditional diesel and because electric motors have fewer moving parts, they require less maintenance which means lower operating costs. However, it's not all smooth sailing. One of the biggest challenges is battery capacity. Bigger ships need larger, heavier batteries, which can take up valuable space and reduce cargo capacity. Charging infrastructure is also a hurdle, especially in remote ports. So the next time you think about the future of transportation, don't forget about the oceans. Electric ships are not just a possibility, they are the future. What do you think? Will we soon see a fleet of electric ships taking over the seas? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more on groundbreaking technology.